Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here, and yeah, today we're going to be looking at the sort of Scar series. Just kind of um, a thing I ended up picking up because Scars have a very interesting aesthetic to them. And one of the other things I take M4 mags, at least for the Scar L, we have here a WeTech Scar H AEG Mark 17 Mod Zero, the uh, sexy 762 edition. So. Scars, particularly with the Scar L, is seen as a nice little substitute to a uh, general M4, which I've got like a little SR16 sitting over here. So, nice comparison. It's a different type of build, and they're pretty well known for being like the Special Forces rifle. So, it looks cool. I've got a bipod on here entirely for the hell of it, because with 7.62 type of munitions, you're looking at more of a designated marksman rifle than anything else. And yeah, so. It's got the nice little Ugg boot shaped stock and it can even collapse if you so desire to make the weapon shorter for a period of time. Something you really can't do with M4s, you can make the stock shorter but generally collapsible type you'll probably need something fancy. It's almost as if there were a buffer tube or something running through there. But yeah, for whatever reason the SCAR can do it though. And the scar's got the ambidextrous controls, the ambidextrous magazine release, and all that fancy ambidextrous stuff. And you can change the position of the charging handle. Now what's unique, as far as the uh, WeTech anyway, is if you put the charging handle back, it'll actually lock to the rear. You have access to your little parts and things with there. You hit the, you hit the uh, bolt release, and it shoots forward. Cool! So yeah, that's a fun little feature they incorporated. It's, um... A little bit heavier, I'd say. Not terribly than your uh, AR series and whatnot. But yeah, overall sort of like a bulky build. And um, I've only got iron sights on it right now because I picked this up almost entirely because it was incredibly cheap. Otherwise, I would have just ignored it and stuck with my current build. But I've been wanting to get a backup in case my Polar Star does like last game and decides to just uh, mix some... Um, Oh, let's say laxatives and sleeping pills, if you put those two and two together. So, yeah, so we got back up here, but you're probably thinking, well, good sir knight, a WeTech Scar H is not a Scar L, and it doesn't use the same magazine. And I mean, yeah, you're right, it's a 762. And generally what we'd be looking at is 556 magazines. So yeah, it's got this big, nice little bulky mag, and the problem with WeTech is they only make high caps, which will make the nice little rattling effect, so they're just being bag chair. So what we're gonna do is just something I noticed entirely randomly one day, is I was like, huh, it won't take 5.56, five, will it? And I was like, well, there's no way this would... Yeah. I wouldn't call it a perfect fit, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it will take a 5.56 magazine. And the reason being, yeah, so we drop that real quick. If you look kind of closely, those do line up at the back. And even if you compare the sides, you can see where the uh, little mag release or the little mag holding tab fits in, whatever the technical term is. So yeah, it actually will hold a 5.56 mag. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but yeah, we are now shooting from a 5.56 magazine in our platform into a SCAR H WeTech. Now it isn't perfect, as I mentioned, because there's not a whole lot of support to it, so if I push on the back of it here with enough force, it will drop out the magazine. So it's a backup plan. But probably not the first and foremost you're going to be wanting to look into. Of course, if you press the mag release, the mag will just drop out again too, so. It's an option if you're desperate. And, well, a far better option than, uh, well, high caps, so. But hey, to each their own. Other than that, you've got a long little gun. You've got the battery that fits back here if you pop out this little tab in the buttstock. And it got cheap because it had been painted before and... The guy who owned it didn't really care for high caps either, so there you go. It might be worth repainting, actually. 
little side project. But yeah, picked it up cheap, and it looks cool, because I was interested in actually taking a look at scars. And, well, they're not bad. And it could just be my overall experience in general, but I do prefer my overall SR16, which, as you'll also see, has... Don't do that. Stop. A lot more peripherals. And when I actually did end up putting the... Uh, little grip up here because it works as a nice little hand stop for normal shooting. I could still do my magwell grip if I am so inclined. And I could even grab the... I can even push for, I can get forward up on here if I want to get my fingers on this end or anything crazy to take the light. And yeah, it's a nice little place to have the broomstick overall. And it's far enough back not to get in the way of the front of the rifle. And I just gotta determine what I want to do with the much of a light uh, camera mold, camera mount here. I'll probably just move it back. That's gonna sit. That's gonna sit at a weird little angle. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Actually, this might work better if I flip it. We'll figure it out. We've got time. We're not in a rush. I just really kind of want to have somewhere for my camera to sit. Uh oh. Come on. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Well, 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 that's not quite copacetic. One more forward. I'm just tooling with things. Tired of curiosity. Oh, I can actually put the light back here. So you can pop, 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 pop. Do and reach up here. And that'll actually clear space for the uh, camera to get slightly better visibility. Cool. I think I liked it better forward. We'll figure it out. I might I might have a move into a selfie cam here. So yeah, this wasn't really just a scar wee platform thing. It's mostly me tooling around the stuff, seeing what works and what doesn't, because that's important to do so. Oh uh, yeah, so SR16 drilled out a bit more. Significantly lighter. I do like the variety of stocks for the air platforms. I should get a can stock at some point. I'm working at, once again, getting a Glock 17, so. If you're wondering where I was, I had a like eight, nine day fever that just wouldn't let up. And yeah, went to the doctors. No idea. It's like, eh, it's a virus. So, no antibiotics. So, you know, enjoy that one. So, several days of fever. And, wow, yeah, this is noticeably heavier once you compare the two, even without anything added onto it. Scars are just heavy. Hopefully, the accuracy makes up for it. But, yeah, pretty cool. Fun stuff. And here we are now, so. Ugh. Yeah, if you're sick for a long period of time, it's the worst. But yeah, so I'll probably end up painting this. Who knows? We gotta pick a color at some point. We can make it like obnoxious orange or something. Actually, orange would be pretty, pretty hilarious. Although, I think it's most interesting if you I actually do make a stock replacement so you can take off the Ugg boot and give it a uh, AR platform sort of stock. And when you do that, it actually starts looking an awful lot like the XCOM rifle. So isn't that something? That's such a, it's a long gun. Wait. Yeah, it's um, it's a good, mostly the barrel length is where your length difference is gonna come into. It's not a CQC version, it's a standard length. But yeah, cool gun. Bipod, so you can actually set it up. Pop, 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 pop. But yeah, it's all, I can't really do a review of it because it's all been customized on the inside. It's got like some crazy high-tech motor that's got like steam vents or something coming out of the bottom. So, who knows, I did get a little bit of shooting in and it shoots really, really, really fast, but we're going to end up painting it at some point. Figure out what to do with the Mod Zero thing, maybe leave that alone. But yeah, who knows, maybe bright orange, maybe we'll have a vote and what's the most fun, obnoxious color we can think of for a Scar H. 
Because, yeah, it's cool. It's mostly going to be a backup gun in case things go wrong again. So, yeah. Awesome, cool, and all that fun stuff. If you like scars, then hey, that's cool. What do you guys prefer, anyway? Because after handling both, I'm definitely more in the uh, SR-16 realm, but... Yeah, AR platforms, I think I prefer. The scars are pretty cool, but I just feel like it has this extra gas chamber bulk, and it's a lot blockier than I feel like it needs to be. But hey, design decisions. Supposedly it works somewhat better than your standard M4, and M16 rifles, but the reason they didn't go for a full swap over is because, well, it'd be expensive and they'd get like this much of a uh, improvement in ability versus like this much cost, so you get the idea. S stock is just so, look at it, it's like absurdly thin for whatever reason, it's such a boxy, blocky gun. Maybe I'll paint it white. Everyone likes the white color scheme. Make an Arctic rifle. Yeah, Hokkaido rifle. That's what I'm thinking, but yeah. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If not, cool, I guess. But yeah, fun stuff. Give it a give it a test run here. It shoots absurdly fast. Far faster than I'm sure an actual Scar H fire. I think an actual Scar H is like, what, 600, was it 600 rounds per minute? So, 10 rounds per second. I think the Scar L at 625. Either way, pretty cool. Nifty looking gun. And uh, yeah, so that's all I got. I'm gonna go do other things and hopefully get some more videos together here in the near future. I've been out sick for so long that there just wasn't anything happening. So hopefully we'll get a game in. Cause that's the thing I, oh, it's the only thing I really wanna do is just go out and shoot things and have fun. And it's always on the work day, so. I got some time during the work day, or not the work day, the uh, normal week outside of the weekend. And we'll go have some fun, so yeah, let me know what you guys prefer. Scars or M4s, or maybe you're an AK person. Maybe you only like submachine guns, Scorpion Evos, and that stuff, so. You know, feel free to comment down below. And uh, yeah, it's always interesting to see what people prefer as opposed to other things. Eh. Short Ugg boot. Knee. Knee, 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 uh, knee with Ugg boot. <laughs> so yeah. Feel free to comment down below what you guys think. It's kind of cool looking. Maybe we'll get a game or two in, so. Cheers, stay shield voice, and I'll uh, see you guys hopefully in the next few games. Bye.